Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Marx Brothers movie, Duck Soup, as well as I Love Lucy and Gilligan's Island. I will show you how in each of these three pieces of amazing work we find a very similar scene that I think you will enjoy. But before I get to that, I do want to remind you that I have over 1,200 videos on my channel spanning many different decades focusing on sitcoms, so much content for you to enjoy. I have playlists, so don't think that this is my only video. There are so many, and I'm constantly releasing more. With YouTube's new algorithm, it's becoming really difficult for channels like mine. So to be able to support, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and to subscribe. It does help the channel to be shown to more people, so I really do appreciate that. The Marx Brothers film Duck Soup was released in 1933. It is known at this time as probably the greatest film that the Marx Brothers appeared in because it was full of so many things, amazing and very memorable scenes as well as witty banter. I like to think of it as a live action cartoon. It's what I usually tell people when they watch things like this. Same thing with Gilligan's Island. People sometimes don't understand that show and I say, hey, if you watch it with the eyes, with the colored eyes of a cartoon, a live action cartoon, it'll make much more sense. Now you have the four Marx Brothers appearing in this. You have Harpo, Chico, Groucho and Zeppo and each of them in their own type of talent. We have the singers Zeppo. We have Chico of course the witty guy kind of the one who hustles everyone. Then we get the man of banter the king of banter that is Groucho and then we have of course the silent Harpo Marx. Now let me know in the comments below what is your favorite scene in Duck Soup. Now I won't go through every single scene in the movie, I just want to focus on one particular one. And that is the mirror scene towards the end of the movie. It is mind-blowing acting and it has become one of the most classic scenes in movie history. It is just something that could be replicated without sound. In fact, there was no sound throughout the entire routine. It was completely silent. It's very visual and it is just a wonder for the eyes. Visually appealing and extremely funny. Now moving on to I Love Lucy, in the episode called Harpo Marx, he does make a guest star appearance in one of the Hollywood episodes. It's one of my personal favorites from the entire Hollywood series. Now in this one as well, they decide to do another fantastic mirror scene replicating the movie Duck Soup. And I think it's a great tribute with, in fact, Lucy dressed as Harpo and the real Harpo and they're doing the back and forth scene. Remember, this is something that was done beginning to end, pretty much no cut it was done in front of a live studio audience in terms of people were sitting in their seats watching this happen. It wasn't like in the movie Duck Soup where it was cut and trimmed and the best parts were put into it. That's a very, very different task and I think that that is why this I Love Lucy scene, I don't wanna say it surpassed the Duck Soup scene, I definitely don't wanna say that, but I do say that it stands very high on the list to the original in fact, adds its little twists here and there. Moving on to Gilligan's Island, we see another similar scene. Now this is something that I recently picked up on. It's something that I didn't really notice. I was watching the episode Gilligan vs. Gilligan, in which someone comes into the island who is basically a spy, a Russian spy, and he is dressed up and looks exactly like Gilligan. Bob Denver plays, of course, both parts. And there's actually a lot of really nice cuts and 1960s movie magic very very cool things that make it appear that they're in the same scene i think it's a really really done well done episode if you haven't checked it out they do use a stunt double and film it from the back and make it look like you're seeing two bob denvers looking at each other and like i said there's a lot of quick cuts and so you can see bob denver's face on both sides so again it's a lot of cool trickery but there's one scene that i want to highlight and that is really really cool that's when they go into the howl hut well, that is where the imposter goes in there, and then Gilligan chases after him. He's looking for him, but it's really great to see Bob Denver going inside the mirror compartment room. And then he goes outside, rushes out, and in the reflection, you see him jump back in. That's him making that turn. I think it was just, again, really well done and really well thought out. But that mirror scene was another great one between Bob Denver and this stunt double. It's a beautiful thing to look at if you haven't seen it. Very reminiscent of duck soup and absolutely an homage 
Two Duck Soup, and I would even say the I Love Lucy Harpo Marx episode. Now, I want to know what you think, guys and gals. What do you think of these three scenes? Have you seen them before? Have you seen all of them? Have you seen none of them? Have you even tied them together? Did you even know that there's kind of a link to all three of them? Let me know what you think down below, and if you know any other shows that have a similar scene, let me know in the comments below, and I may feature them in a future video. Thanks so much, as always, for the support, and don't forget, guys and gals, no matter what is going on, no matter what problem, you may have in life keep pushing forward always stay positive and most importantly be hopeful thanks to executive producers kenneth b verbal volley andy bailo david davenport and joe ray if you want to be listed on here make sure to visit patreon and that'll let you know how